Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is Sir Jedi Sentinel, and welcome back to Sentinel Reviews. It's time to continue our regular tradition. Today, we are looking at the Diary of River Song Series 11 Friend of the Family, released in January of 2023, written by Tim Foley and directed by Ken Bentley. The Diary of River Song Friend of the Family once again stars Alex Kingston as River Song and features. One moment, let me pull up the big finish page because I don't remember the cast list, because I've said this before, I when I do the recaps, I try to list the cast listed on the cover. I've kind of stopped memorizing them, because on some of these, the, the listings on the cover have gotten really long. Anyway, alongside Alex Kingston, The Diary of River Song, Series 11, Friend of the Family, also stars Isla Blair, Wendy Craig, Mark Elstob, Jack Halden, Philippa, excuse me, Philida Nash, Ronak Patani, and Jemima Roper. Now, I I am doing these unscripted, so just in case, there is a blanket spoiler warning in place. If you do not wish to be spoiled for this set, in the description box below is the link to Big Finish's website, where you can purchase the Diary of River Song, Friend of the Family. Although, I am going to try as much as possible, possible to be really tight-lipped on the spoilers, because Series 11 is a mystery. So, you know, if I give away the game, it's not as fun listening to it and figuring things out. All I'll say is, right off the bat, this is possibly one of the best releases in the entire range, if not the absolute best. Like, I just finished listening to it, so I'm kind of back and forth on whether I like this one the most, or if Series 2 still cannot be dethroned. But yeah, no, this one ranks really highly. It is phenomenal. Um, as I said in my top 10 most anticipated Big Finish releases of 2023, the thing that has me most excited for this is that it's doing the Master of Callus thing, or, you know, Countermeasure Series 4, Unit Dominion, box sets like that, where instead of four stories making up a series... It's one four-part story. And this one also has one writer for the entire duration of the series. It's Tim Foley. And I think it's to his benefit because he is in control of the entire narrative. Not just that, he also has four hours to work with. So he really gets to refine the pacing, figure out what goes where, what works, you know, what drags on too long, what needs more time, what needs less time. He uses all four hours perfectly to his benefit. Um, also, Howard Carter's score is brilliant here. I, I know I don't talk about music enough when I review these. I, I've talked about that in the past. But like I said, I'm not musically trained. Um, so music is not something I really notice or pay attention to. For me to comment on it, it has to stand out really um, obviously, for good or bad. And it does here. Like, the music is so integral to setting the mood and the atmosphere of the scenes and the stories. Ken Bentley is just, once again, a really good director. And with his direction, he helps deliver some powerful performances. Which I think is also helped by um, the cast being able to record together and play off each other. Um... Where do I want to go from there? Do I want to start talking about the baseline of the plot? Because I'm not going to get into specifics. Or do I want to talk about the cast some more? Um, I'll do the premise. I'll do the premise and sort of a base synopsis of the plot, which will then springboard me into talking about the cast. So this this set opens with River finding her diary on display in a mysterious mansion. And when she tries to figure out why she's there, why it's there, she's hurled through time. And essentially what she has to figure out is, well, no, what she has to figure out. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, she finds she is trapped in this mansion. There is a barrier around it. And her vortex manipulator will only take her to four places, four periods in this house's history in 26 year intervals. If I remember right, that's, 1936, 1962, 1988, and 2014. 
and River has to find out what's going on, why has she been trapped here, and how this all ties into the owners and residents of this mansion, the Mortimer family. I'm going to pull up the Big Finish page again real quick because this is a lot, especially for Big Finish, this is a large cast. So I don't have everyone down memorized. So let me give you the rundown on kind of the Mortimer family. Um, one moment, sorry. All right, so in 1936, we have husband and wife George Mortimer and Madeline, or Maddie Mortimer, and then their two children, one moment, I'm looking at it, Mary and Henry, and then in 1936, no, that was, that was 1936, sorry, 1962, we now have Madeline is the matriarch of the Mortimer family. She is a single mother raising her son Thomas with the help of her brother, again, Henry. And then in 1988, Ma Mary is a much older woman now. Um, oh, I should have mentioned too, in 1962, so I'm already getting sketchy on the details, River finds herself being employed as Maddie's son, Thomas, as, her gov as his governess. And then in 1988, Mary is much older. Her mother, Maddie, is back in the picture. Long story there that I'm not spoiling. Listen to it for yourself. And her son, Thomas, is now fully grown. And he has a girlfriend named Carla. And then in 2014, River is meeting Carla and... Thomas's son, Harry, and his boyfriend, Vinay. I think I got that all. Sorry, I, I really should have had a springboard or something, like a conspiracy board or something to try and keep track of this, because... But yeah, that brings me to the performances. But And River's not alone in trying to figure out what's going on. Um, she re At the start of the story, she requested something called... Well, she calls it an echo gun. Um... And it allows her, whatever you shoot, you can kind of see the history of it. It kind of portray displays the history of it. And on, with the Echo Gun is, I just forgot his name. Wow, this is not a good day to be doing this. Um, what was it? What was it? Hugo. Hugo is a solidogram, basically a hologram, but made of hard light, so he's tangible. He can interact with the world around him. Hugo is sort of the overseer of the Echo Gun, as River calls it, although he hates her calling it that. And he is kind of monitoring River, because this is the one thing I will spoil. Allegedly, this um, outing that River's going on is for her professorship. It's what this essentially the outcome of it, of events here are in the larger Doctor Who canon. Why River Song is Professor River Song. Hugo is a really fun character, and I love his um his arc throughout this box set. Like he's very skeptical of River. He does not like her um her gung ho attitude about things. He he doesn't like how she is so flippant with time. But as the series goes on, they sort of start to bond and he starts to soften. And, you know, essentially because they kind of play on it, Hugo is River's companion. And just their bond is fantastic. And the character he is at the end of the story is not the same as he was at the start of the story. Alex Kingston is brilliant in this. Like, she's a fantastic actress. I've always liked her as River, but this might be her best performance as the character. And that includes her stuff on TV. This is wonderful. Like, as she goes on and figures out the the mystery of the Mortimer house and her involvement in things, um, she gets more and more involved with the Mortimer family. And, you, you know, you see her elation at certain events. You see her dread at certain events. It's a very beautiful, well-rounded performance. This entire set is beautiful. The rest of the cast is amazing as well. I can't really think of any standouts just because, again, everyone brings their A-game and just brings 
brings to life this beautiful drama. Like I said, this is probably going to be a very quick video, very light on stuff, because I don't want to spoil it. Like, let me do this. Let me just say that if you were put off by the character on TV, like a lot of people were, um, and you were kind of put off by all the fan wink in the first 10 series, not getting into that debate, because fan wink does not automatically equal bad, get this set. Just, just trust me on it. Get it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, one more thing I will mention, too, is that one... I, I forgot to mention this, too. Sorry. Um, one of the things that kind of starts River on this journey is that in the diary she finds in the Mortimer house, she finds a riddle left behind. It's called the Mortimer Legacy. It's this kind of poem that's been passed down through generations of the Mortimer family. Learn the rules of the house. Find the key to the door. Save the child from the nest. Draw an aisle in the shore. And, you know, the pieces of that riddle, of that poem, are the titles of the of the stories in the set. So story one is the rules of the house. Story two is the key to the door. Story three is the bird from the nest. And story four is the aisle in the shore. And, you know, it it's not as cut and paste as it seems, like... In every story, River doesn't figure out that piece of the riddle. Like, in the rules of the house, she doesn't learn what the rules of the house are. In the key to the door, she doesn't find the key to the door. I think, now that I'm saying it out loud, I think the only one, the last two are pretty direct. Like, the bird from the nest and the aisle and the shore. But, yeah, and this story rewards multiple listens. So, like, you can listen to it and slowly piece things together but then with that foreknowledge you can listen to it again and just you know put it together put it more in perspective because river is experiencing this out of sequence which is a really clever way to do it in fact in the behind the scenes features david richardson kind of drew inspiration from this is us in fact he said this is kind of meant to be that kind of domestic drama where things are drawn where things are told out of sequence it's not a direct um take on this is us though it's just it's where the idea from that kind of prem from this kind of premise came from and like i said it's just one of the this is probably the highlight of the range a beautiful wonderful story phenomenal performances i highly recommend the diary of river song series 11 but those are just my thoughts. Have you heard it yet? What are yours? Please start a conversation in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Click the bell next to subscribe to get notifications when I upload. And in the description box below, you'll find the link to my Twitter for the time being, where you can follow me and get updates on the channel. This is Sir Jedi Sentinel, and I'll see you guys next time.